Hey everybody, the following is an excerpt from a Rotto Roundup video. And if you'd like to see the rest of the Roundup that this came from, you can hit that eye up in the top right corner screen or follow the show notes. Or if you'd like to know more about the game, there's a link for it down in the show notes as well. Okay, let's get to it. Then we go on to number seven, Bullet. Although I don't know if it's actually called Bullet Heart because there's literally a heart in the title. If you go on Board Game Geek, you'll see its name is actually Bullet Heart Emoji. So I'll just call it Bullet, or maybe Bullet Heart. I'm not quite sure how you're supposed to say it out loud. But this is another real-time game, and it's really cool. Jen and I actually like this one quite a bit. And there's two ways you can play. You can play as kind of like a dueling head-to-head, -head where it's kind of, it's a very abstract game, that is all about reaching into your bag as fast as you can, pulling out these bullet chips, putting them on your little field of bullets that are coming at you. Somebody's shooting a lot of bullets at us. And as they work their way further and further down our little field, they will eventually hit us. But we have special abilities that allow us to manipulate the bullets, to move them left, right, up and down, and, and swap positions and stuff like that. And if we can match certain bullet patterns um, by getting the right bullets, the right numbers, the right colors into the right position, we can take those bullets and redirect them towards our opponent. It feels very much like an old school, you know, uh, Tetris, Dr. Mario kind of vibe where, hey, when you clear out lines, that means the other player gets hit. And we really liked it quite a bit. Fun, fast, really sharp, very puzzly. Um, the game is timed. We have three minutes in a given round to, to, to deal with all the bullets that are in our bag. Um, and honestly, the t for people who are put off by the timer, don't worry. It's more than enough time. Jen and I never came close to running out of time in this game. The timer is just there more to kind of give you just a little bit of, just a little push so you don't spend too much time over analyzing. But the bigger thing is, well, like the previous game, you are racing against somebody else. But in this game, there is, there's only the tiniest benefit for being first to finish. You get first dibs on drafting special powers for the next round. Um, whereas if you take your time, then you can actually think longer and harder and probably come up with good uh, strategies as opposed to just going as fast as you can. But then, the cool thing about the game is there's a totally different way to play where it's fully cooperative. Where, where you're still doing the same thing. Bullets are coming at you, you're trying to rearrange them into patterns, um, but not to send the bullets to each other, but to send them to a communal boss that we're both fighting. And Jen and I were really surprised. It's incredibly crunchy. And it's so crunchy that they get rid of the timer. Because you need time to stop and think about how best to beat these bosses. And it was very challenging, really well done, and we liked that one quite a bit. But we were surprised we liked the duel, too. Um, um, really, really sharp game. Highly recommended. I don't know if it's really gotten much buzz, but really sharp. All the different playable characters are radically different. Some of them are almost like they're playing completely different games. They're so asymmetrical. But a really neat game. Um, great production. Good, uh, just good, solid fun. My number seven of the month, Bullet or Bullet Heart.